Cabin porn. I found cabin porn. People who come here really love cabins. This is... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look at some cabin porn. So I just learned of these things called Getaway Cabins. It's a company that markets towards people that live in a city that just need to disconnect in the middle of the woods. I'm an introvert, so I thought I would love to do something like this. But then I thought it might make a more interesting video to have somebody that's an extrovert do this by themselves. So I'm gonna bring my coworker Eric, who's always talking, he's always on his phone, he's always talking about social media and his Instagram followers. I really wanna get more Instagram followers, so why don't you guys follow me? I thought, if anybody, he could benefit from something like this. I'm not gonna tell him that he's by himself because I don't think he would come. All right guys, so I'm super excited about this video. I'm about to go on some sort of like vacation. I'll get to know Christian. He seems like a cool guy, he's talented, he's very serious. I don't think he likes me very much, so I'm surprised he asked me to come. He randomly came up to me, asked me to come to the woods with him. I'm starting to think this, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be great. I'm going to the woods with Christian, let's do it. I told you that this was about like us like disconnecting. Us disconnecting yeah. and connecting with each other. So the first part of that is, is true. We're gonna be disconnecting. Uh, I'm gonna be nowhere near you during this video. Like we are staying in cabins, but we have two separate cabins very far away from each other in the middle of this big piece of property. So we're gonna have no contact the entire time with each other or anybody else. What if I get sick? What if I get sick and I need to call somebody? How, what, I have a Jewish mom. What is, how am I gonna contact my Jewish mom to tell her that I'm okay? Hey, mom. Yeah? Okay, I'm not gonna be able to communicate with you for the next 24 hours. 24 hours, okay, baby, okay, I got it. Well, she didn't seem to really care. I want everybody to know I'm not happy about this situation. I'm basically being kidnapped. These next 24 hours, you are gonna have to first get over the fact that you don't have a cell phone that you can be on. There's no social media. What goes on in your brain when you don't have any distractions? That's gonna be the cool part of this video. Like, nothing. No, we're nothing not, goes on in my no, brain. But but something's gonna go on in your brain. Like you're gonna to get to a place where you were, you're gonna be thinking beyond the obvious. I'm sure. I'm sure. Right now, when you're bored, the first thing you do is you pick up your phone and you look to see like, has anybody emailed me? Has anybody texted me? Are there any cool Instagram photos I haven't seen yet? You're gonna be out in the woods, and when you when you get to that first level of boredom, something else is gonna happen. You're gonna to have to make a decision to do something, or you're just gonna be sitting down and like your mind's gonna start wandering. Your creative mind, like what can you create in those in those moments when there's no noise? You're really good at selling what you're selling right now, yeah. but I still predict I'm going to hate the next 24 hours. Jesus. This looks terrifying on camera and in real life. <laughs> okay, please don't leave me. Can we just, can we change the frame of the video and we just stay, stay together? No. Please? No. Please? No. Oh, fuck. My service is gone. I'm gonna be so lonely. Get out. No. Zip. You're leaving me? Yep. I just have to walk out of here. You just grab your shit. All right, I guess this is goodbye. See you tomorrow. Nope. This is gonna be a long 24 hours. Oh my God. Well, I'm in the woods alone. I have no idea where Christian is. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there's this little like, it's you don't even use keys here. It's a little code, which I don't trust because there's only six. Bet you any killer who comes here could just figure out what my code is. It smells like wood. Jesus. Oh my God, the bed is right by a massive window. 
I'm freaking out. I know I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna open my eyes and there's gonna be some creepy dude standing right by the window. Jesus, that's a lot of knives. I need to get rid of these knives. They have this. You know where you see these kinds of things? You see these kinds of lights? You see them in horror movies. That's the only time you ever see these kind of lights. Nobody uses these lights. What the hell is this alien toilet? What just happened? And the food, they got some good food. I'm not gonna complain about that. They got some porridge. They got some good stuff. Look, it's a cool place, but I'm scared. I'm very, 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 very scared. I had nothing to do. All right, so I just dropped off Eric and his cabin, and this is mine. Ooh. I love everything about this. I can get used to this. I have to imagine that Eric is loving this. It's so quiet here. I'm like really not used to it. It's really eerie. Literally, listen. So they gave me this little book. Now what? For people like me that will kind of help you if it's your first time being alone and you don't know what to do and how to be without your cell phone, begin by writing out a commitment. Something you would like to remember when returning to civilization. Take your time thinking about it. The deeper into your getaway you are, the clearer you'll see what needs to be done. So, it's time to get to writing. It's kind of nice to not have anything to worry about. I mean, how often do you get to just look into a fire and not have to do or think about anything? There is a part of me that is starting to worry about Eric, though. So I just spent 30 minutes just writing everything, and um, I'm not going to tell you what I wrote, because that was more for me. I'm surprised. I feel very relaxed right now. I felt really good just writing everything out. I didn't think that one one activity would just, like, change my perspective on this experience so quickly, but I, I'm i really ready to just embrace this whole thing now. The next thing in this book talks about forest bathing, and they recommend that you walk around in the forest, and I'm gonna go for a walk. Okay, guys, it got darker. Guys, I have no idea where I am. I was walking and then it started to get dark. What the fuck was that? Sorry, I keep hearing stuff. The fuck? I literally cannot see past, like, a foot in front of me. Look, I've been walking for about two hours now, and I have no idea where to go or where I am. All right, well, I'm going to go. I'm just going to keep walking, and hopefully I can find my cabin. I just woke up. To wake up to this is pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to go out just check on Eric. All right, here he is. See him. Okay. Yeah, I have no service. Yeah, it's not even ringing. I'm gonna go back to my cabin, see if maybe he just like went out looking for me. If not, there is a trail. It's not too far away. I might take a walk down just to see if he's there. I have no idea where he is. I could hear him. <laughs> I could hear him. Woo! Oh, I found it. It was like it was like 20 feet away. So I made it back to the cabin. Just woke up and I actually feel amazing. And then I just woke up to nature. I think we're just gonna go for a hike. It's so pretty. I wish I, you guys can't even experience like what it smells like, how pretty. I mean. If you've been to a forest, then you know. It's amazing. I'm alone right now with my thoughts. There's no one else here. This feels so great. Just the loud noise, the loud sounds of water. This feels amazing. This trip was 100% worth it. I'm just here thinking. I feel so happy. I feel incredible. Christian! Christian! How do you feel? I feel amazing, Christian. I 
feel like I'm so relaxed. I'm not worried about anything. I've got no stress. I haven't checked my phone once this entire time. I haven't checked my Instagram. I might have lost all my followers, but I don't even care. Insert drone shot. <laughs> we don't have a drone. We don't have a drone. <laughs> it's time to go. I, I really don't want to leave. I've had an incredible time. This was awesome. Thank you, Christian. Everyone should try being in silence. Get bored. Be lonely. Good things will come from that. Woo! Woo! Ah! Pine cones off my ass right now!